These are 15 of some of the best Roblox simulators that I could find. Number 15, Pet Simulator X. This is the most popular Roblox simulator. So chances are, I'm sure you guys already know what it is. You open eggs to get pets. You then use those pets to click on the coins and then get coins. Your pets will begin to break the coins, giving you more and more coins. And then you use those coins to buy better eggs. And this simulator has had tons and tons of updates. So if you started right now, I can guarantee it'll take you at least a week to be able to finish the game, which makes this one of the best simulators. Number 14, Arm Wrestle Simulator. In Arm Wrestle Simulator, you try to get as strong as possible by clicking. Every single time you click, you gain more strength. You can then use that strength that you gain to fight tons of different bosses. Whenever you go to fight a boss, your main objective is to click as fast as you can to try and beat that boss. Whenever you beat a boss, it will give you trophies. You use those trophies to get eggs, which give you better pets, and the better pets make it so every single time that you click, you gain more strength. The harder the boss that you fight, the better the reward are. And once you reach 15,000 trophies, you can go to the next place, which will have better bosses for you to fight. Number 13, IQ Wars Simulator. IQ Wars Simulator is a lot like Arm Wrestling Simulator, where you have a book and every single time you click, you gain more and more IQ. Once you gain a lot of IQ, you can battle people. Once you battle them, you have to click as fast as you can and try and beat them. And whenever you beat them, you gain trophies. And you use those trophies to buy eggs for pets, which will gain you more IQ. And the more and more IQ that you get, you can get better books which will also gain you more iq and once you gain enough trophies you can go to the next area number 12 anime fighters simulator in this simulator you are given an anime character and whenever you click on an enemy your anime character will begin to fight that enemy when fighting that enemy a bar will begin to progress and whenever that bar is fully filled your anime character will use his ultimate ability which will do way more damage than your normal hit once you kill the enemy you gain coins you use those coins to open a star that will give you more and more anime characters each anime character being rarer than the other, and they also get their own unique level. There's also NPCs that you can talk to that will give you quests. Once you complete those quests, you will be given a reward. And once you get enough coins, you can go to the next world. Number 11, Kick It Simulator. Once you start the simulator, you have two options. You can either collect orbs, which will give you energy, or click E on this treadmill, which will also give you energy. And honestly, I would recommend using the treadmill instead of getting orbs, because the treadmill does help a lot more, I can't lie. But once you think you have a lot of energy, you can go here, and then kick a ball and your objective is to try to kick the ball as far as possible the more energy you have the farther you kick it and you have to try to be the person who kicks the ball the farthest kicking the ball will also give you coins you take those coins and then you can open an egg which will give you a pet and that pet will allow you to get more energy when you're on the treadmill and once you have enough coins you can go to the next place number 10 weapon crafting simulator in this simulator your main objective is to kill enemies whenever you kill an enemy it will give you coins but not only that it will also give you a specific item in this case killing this enemy will give me a crystal and i need to get a better sword but in order to get a better sword i need a certain amount of crystals and a certain amount of coins to be able to craft the next sword once i have enough of that item i can craft it you can also use coins to buy eggs to get pets which will give you more coins whenever you kill an enemy a very unique thing about this game is whenever you get a kill it starts a kill streak and if the bar runs out then your kill streak ends but if you get another kill before that kill streak ends then the kill streak will continue and go up and up my highest kill streak is, you know, it's pretty average, I'd say. But maybe you can beat it. There's also seven different worlds that you can explore. Number nine, Punch Wall Simulator. Whenever you punch the punching bag, it gives you more strength. You then use that strength to punch a wall. You break through all of the series of walls, and once you reach the end, it gives you trophies. You can use those trophies to buy eggs, which give you pets. The pets make it so every single time you punch the punching bag, it counts for more. And once you have enough trophies, you can go to the next area. Number eight, Sword Fighters Simulator. In this game, you have a sword. You use that sword and kill enemies. Every single time you kill an enemy, you gain coins, but not only that, you also gain a sword. The sword is completely random whenever you kill the enemy, and whenever you get the same sword five times after killing enemies, you can combine them together to get that same sword, but more powerful. Also, whenever you get coins, you can use those coins and open an egg and get a pet, which I feel like I said a thousand times now. This game also has a daily chest that you can open, which gives you tons of different items. Not only that, it also has a spinny wheelie thingy that gives you free items as well. And this game probably has the most worlds i've ever seen that you can explore not only that there's also a leaderboard system this channel is pretty new so honestly subscribing would honestly mean a lot number seven bee swarm simulator you first start off with a bee whenever you go to a flower field your bee will begin to collect pollen from that flower field once the bee collects enough pollen you can go to your beehive and click e which will make the bee take the pollen and put it inside your beehive which will create honey which is your main currency in this game once you have a lot of honey you go up to the shop where you can buy more bees 
bees. You can buy more than just bees with honey though. You can buy bigger backpacks and better items to collect pollen. This game also has tons of bears around the map that will give you quests. And whenever you complete a quest that they give you, you will receive some very good items that will help you. There are also bugs that try to harm you around the map at certain fields. Also, once you reach a certain amount of bees, you're allowed to access the next area. But when you go to the next area, there will be bigger bugs that will try to attack you. Number six, punch simulator. Every time you click, you gain more strength. Use that strength to box different bosses. When fighting them, you click as fast as you can and try to beat them. Once you beat them, you get trophies. You use those trophies to buy pets. And pets make it so every single time you click, you gain more strength. This game also has a place where you can battle your friends. They also have a spinny wheely thingy. They also have a place called dungeons, where basically you fight waves of bosses, each wave being harder and harder. Number five, clicker mining simulator. So basically there's a giant mine. You dig down and the deeper you dig, the better things you find. And you're probably expecting there to be ores down here, but instead there's chests. The chests give you coins and pickaxes. And as you keep digging down, there's several checkpoints to be found. You could then go back up to the surface and sell everything that's in your backpack. Once you sell it, you gain tons of coins. You use those coins to buy eggs and to go to the next areas. And of course, there's a spinny wheelie thingy. Number four, run star simulator. You start by going on a treadmill, which will increase your speed. Once you're ready to race, you go over here, which will put you in a race against four other contestants. You then click as fast as you can to try to be the first person to finish the race. The better placement you get, the more trophies you get. You use those trophies to get pets, and then to try to get more trophies to be able to go to the next place. Number three, Skibi Battle Simulator. You punch this thing to get more strength. You then use that strength to fight a boss. You click as fast as you can to try it and flush the head down the toilet. If done successfully, you get trophies. You use those trophies on eggs, which give you pets. And your objective is to get to the next place. Number two, Ninja Fighting Simulator. In this game, you fight ninjas. Who would have guessed? But first, you need to up your katana power. Every time you click, you have more katana power. But once you reach a certain amount of katana power, you can equip a new katana. And this new katana will give you more power each click. This game has daily rewards and gifts that you can get every few minutes. And of course, it has a spinny wheelie thingy. Once you feel as though you have enough katana power, you can fight a ninja. Once fighting the ninja, you click as fast as you can to try to beat him. If you beat him, you gain trophies. You use those trophies on eggs, which give you pets. Your objective is to beat all the ninjas and go to the next world. Number one, heat a plane simulator. In this game, you have to throw a plane. You have to try to get this bar to 100%, or maybe even at least 90. Doing so will allow your plane to go all the way across the map, and you have to try to get it inside this hoop. If doing so successfully, you will gain tons of money. You could then spend that money on tons of different eggs, or you can buy upgrades. There's also a rebirthing system in this game. Every single time you rebirth, you will gain tons of gems. You can then use those gems on upgrades. But if you rebirth, you kind of lose all your progress. And of course, this game has a spinny wheelie thingy. 